is the new Spectra X, an intelligent electric skateboard from Walnut. It's powered by two 250 watt hub motors, which will take you as fast as 18.6 miles per hour, and each swappable battery has a range of about 6.2 miles. It also boasts some unique features, such as anti-theft GPS tracking and posture motion control. Few moments later. Okay, uh, baby steps, because I haven't been on a skateboard or an electric skateboard for ages, so I'm actually using it at the moment without any electric whatsoever, and I'm pleased to say that it, it rolls perfectly. It feels like a normal skateboard. No worries, but I'm sure that's not what you're here to see. So let's uh, fire up the electric mode. Okay guys, like all um, good pieces of modern technology, this electric skateboard has an app. So I'm gonna connect to the app and then select which mode we wanna be in. All right, so we've got three speed modes. We've got comfort, sport, and racing. And the unique thing about this skateboard in particular is I won't be needing a remote, although it does come with one, because this has motion posture control, which I'm going to test out first. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. This is it. I'm going two miles per hour. Come on. So uh, basically, as you'd expect, you lean forward to go forward and lean backwards to break, which is pretty effective. Um, come on. I'm really, really pushing down. I, I, I don't know how much I can stress how much I'm pushing down on this front foot and I'm going up a little hill and we're struggling a little bit. Maybe I've got my feet in the wrong place. And I'm going backwards. I don't want to go backwards. Going forwards. Come on. Um, this is cringe, guys. I am sorry. I apologize. Come on. I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forwards. Forwards. I don't want to go backwards. Let's try that again, shall we? So, I decided to abandon the posture motion control thingy, whip out the remote control, and ride it how you're supposed to ride an electric skateboard. Okay, this is more like it. This is more like it. Unfortunately, uh, my hand is not free to hold the 360 camera, obviously, but, um, so far, whoa, so good. It's actually much more comfortable than I expected. The deck is pretty wide and the trucks are very wide, as are the wheels, which make it a very, very comfortable ride. Oh, and the brake's pretty good too. <laughs> if you hold the brake too long, it goes backwards. Okay, nervy start, let's try again. <laughs> say I've got the hang of it, uh, but not quite. Um, the remote is useful for just um, when you first get on. It's time to try that motion control again because I'm very excited of using the 360 camera and the vlogging camera at the same time. Here we go. Come on! You know those extreme downhill skateboarders that like lean and put their arms back? That's what I'm actually having to, go, to do to move a few miles per hour. I can't even get up this speed bump. Come on. Right. I probably should have read the manual to figure this out, but I didn't think it'd be that, be that hard. I guess you just lean forward, lean backwards. Okay. This is probably the fastest I've got so far on this thing. Now, let's try the brakes as we lean back. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. 
But now comes the problem of, of trying to get my speed up again. So I've got to really lean forward. Forward, after you, mom, after you. The cyclists aren't looking at me very nicely. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to use the force this time. Oh, oh, got a bit faster. Actually, just closing my eyes actually worked, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, um, my early assumption of this posture control, motion control thing is that it's a bit of a gimmick. To be fair, I haven't given it, give it that much time. It's kind of hurting my knee, the amount of pressure I'm pushing down on it. Kind of getting it. Full speed ahead! On the hill. Then, of course, my brother shows up and shows me exactly how it's done. Literally, just lean in on your front foot. Give it more of a lean. Just like ah. relax into it. You got it? What do you think? I really like it. So, my brother skateboards a lot more than I do, and he's got the motion control thing much easier. Okay guys, so that was my review of the Walnut Spectra X. Big thanks to Walnut for sending me out a sample to review. If you're familiar with this channel, you know I generally review electric scooters. So this is the first electric skateboard review, and I'm very happy to say that I really liked it. As soon as you get it out the box, it screams really, really good build quality. Um, so rest assured, if you were considering getting one of these and you were concerned about the build quality, don't be, because this thing is built like a tank, and it weighs as much as a tank. I mean, look how wide those trucks are, look how wide the wheels are, and the deck is super wide, so you can also rest assured that it's a very comfortable ride. It's almost got a longboard feel about it on a shortboard. And even at high speeds, I didn't find myself getting the speed wobbles, which is a good sign. Uh, way, woo. And, and it also looks pretty cool too. Briefly going back to build quality, you can't argue with the skateboard's build quality, but you can argue with the remote control build quality. Um, and I've lost it, hold on. Uh, that's ironic, I can't find it. Thankfully you can ride without a remote control. The remote control is very plasticky, it's very lightweight, the buttons are kind of flimsy, it feels like very much like an afterthought. And I imagine most of the engineering has gone into the board itself and the fancy motion control thing, which I never got, really got the hang of by the way. <laughs> But it, it, it seems like a bit of a trend with electric skateboards that the, the remote control is a bit of an afterthought and it seems like this is no different. So that's a bit of a shame because the build quality and the aesthetics of this skateboard is really cool. They need to up the game in the remote control. But bearing in mind you can use it without the remote control which is great. And I know I didn't sell it very well but don't let that put you off because when my brother turned up, he took to it like a duck to water, he got on it and he was in control, he was going really fast and he had no problems with it all. So I think it's going to be a personal taste thing. Give it a go by all means. In my respect, I would stick to the remote control. Another cool thing is the external battery. That is pretty cool because you effectively have unlimited range if you if you carry enough of these around with you. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to test the range with the Spectra X, which is a bit of a shame. But the truth is, I actually can't ride electric skateboards for a long time. And this is the reason I moved on to electric scooters. And I'll tell you briefly why. Obviously, when you're riding a skateboard, your legs and hips are twisted and your body is twisted. You know, I used to skateboard loads growing up and I think it just twisted my back and my hips out of alignment over time and yeah so unfortunately I can't ride these things for a long period of time which is why I didn't do a range test so I prefer things where you can stand in parallel thus my love for electric scooters but yeah um 
All that being said, I am very, very, very impressed with this electric skateboard. It's very, very well designed. It's won loads of awards. It's really fun to use. It's comfortable to use. It's not as portable as I thought it was. And um, like I mentioned, it's larger and heavier than I thought it would be. So it's, it's a little bit cumbersome to carry around, but still less cumbersome than a longboard. Speaking of size and portability, I really feel like this skateboard has found the balance just right between a short board and a long board. It feels stable enough, the wheels are large and wide enough to make you actually feel like you could be on a long board, yet you have the form factor of a short board. So that, in my opinion, is really cool and a bit of a USP. Definitely worth checking out if you're sick of carrying your long board, electric long board around, then this would be definitely worth considering for that. There's no real kick tail on the skateboard, but there is enough to kind of like shimmy the board about if you need to, if you're in a tight space. I'm I'm no electric skateboard specialist by any means, but the, the bearings seem to be super smooth. They're not making any noise at all. Yeah, and these dual hub motors really provide a lot of power, a lot of speed, a lot of torque. Um, in fact, a bit too much torque. It takes a little bit of getting used to. So overall, I'm very impressed with the Spectra X. I suggest you give it a go. You can rent or buy the scooter in the links below, but I don't think it's going to swap my electric scooter as my first choice commuting device at the moment. Uh, yeah, and chances are I will probably end up using it for stuff like this. <laughs> So guys, guys, what do you think of the Spectra X? Are you interested? Are you a longboard kind of guy? Um, do you prefer electric scooters, electric unicycles? Please let me know in the comments below. I definitely think this is worth a look at because actually for the price, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than a boosted board. Um, but I think the quality and the specs are... Uh, uh, are up there. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and give us a like and all that jazz. I do comedy, tech and vlogs on this channel. Um, my name is Ben Fox and I will see you in the next one.